terms of things like cash, spending the cash. So we go live and taking off this headset. You guys need me to just come up and go. Penis, 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 penis. <laughs> See, Mike, why do you why do you want to go to why do you want to go to Portland when we talk about penises on the stream? Free show. Apparently the mic is hot and everybody in the chat heard me say penis like 20 times, so that's my bad. <laughs> I, just had a, I just had a chat, I just had a viewer say we, we heard all of that, Eddie. I'm like, well, I could have said worse things, so. <laughs> Alright, for those of you in the chat that can hear me on the hot mic, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> I didn't say anything, I didn't say anything that bad. From Dallas, Texas, deep in the heart of the DFW downtown area, welcome to Poker House Dallas, Poker House Live, here this Saturday early evening for a little 5-5-10 match the stack live stream. Nice little fun action pack lineup tonight. I got Eddie the Agent Sensation in the booth flying solo tonight. Going to be rotating Katie and BJ in the box, Mike Coltrane. Right in action tracker. Tonight we got German Moneymaker back again in the one seat. OSC in the two seat. Harvey Castro in the three seat. 
Jay in the four seat, Carlos again in the five seat, Bridge Mike in the six seat, Wolf Gang coming back and making a reappearance here at Poker House Dallas, Poker House Live, Fireman Mike in the eight seat, playing our one three one K cap live stream a few weeks ago, making his five five ten debut, and then JD coming back after playing the ten twenty five twenty five uncapped live stream from just a few days ago. Ladies and gentlemen, fun lineup. Got the drinks flowing already from Wolfgang in the seventh seat. Firing Mike in the eighth seat. We're gonna start this off with a flip, ladies and gentlemen. Hope everybody's having a good evening. Yesterday was Cinco de Mayo. Mother's Day next weekend. All right, we're gonna get these cards scanned, squared up. For all of those of you in the chat. Let's get going. Action. I think you are. With this flip. Oh my god. Oh yeah, come on. Queen Jack or 10. There we go. Oh, I like that. Running four five. I have top set. You got top set? Got the camera, Scalawags, sorry about that. And apparently, like, I heard you say that you heard anything, everything, so. Sorry about that for those eight, nine viewers in the chat. I had a little fun here in the booth, again, especially flying solo. Diamonds, queen, jack, or ten. All right. Armin Mike with a lot of outs here. Eight of spades. Eight and J here with only a set of sixes. Going to take down this flip. $50 fit from each player. I was set. 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 Anybody got a straight? No one with five, seven. That's not straight. Set of six. Five, eight, straight. I have a block. How's everybody doing this Saturday afternoon? We're going to be getting in action here in just a second. Good job. We'll see you later. Thank you. Again, Saturday, 5 5 10 matches stack. Everybody in for 3K. 12 viewers in the chat. Let's keep them coming. Like, share, subscribe. Eddie the Asian Sensation in the booth. Flying solo. Do you guys want to play the NID for 50 or something? Of course, here comes OFC with the straddles. Okay, this hand starts. This hand, I need the Can I get a nip on Well, don't let me know what else agrees. <laughs> we'll go. <laughs> 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 we'll see this on. It's going to be a fun group. Drinks are flowing. All right, so. Poker Monkey in the chat saying, next Poker House Dallas chat pro meetup game. May 21st and a couple Sundays, not tomorrow, not next week, but the following week. So three Sundays from, two Sundays from tomorrow. One, two, 500 cap. We're gonna have cake, food, booze, and hopefully all those three combined in equal fun. First real hand knit game on. Again, ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to our stream with the knit game, yellow dot by the player's name means they still have their knit button. And it looks like the 25 straddle is going to be on. All right, here we go. Three ways to this flop. Hand one. Shot here with the best hand. Two pair. And but pretty big here. Gonna be about 80, 85 percent pot. Mike with the nut flush draw. Mike putting the move on OFC yesterday after OFC turning a set. Bridge Mike check grazing a turn with just a naked queen of spades gets Sean off his hand. We were talking about that a lot today. But there was a handful of us, Miss Tammy, OFC Sean, Mike Coltrane, uh, Mike Tanner, Jessica Tiffany, some of our new uh, 
tournament director's floor is here. Went to go support Habib in his restaurant. Selva, if you're in the DFW area, he is open for business. That's his stuff. And I'll tell you what, the food, amazing. Phenomenal. If you're in the Mediterranean, Turkish, Middle Eastern type food, So on the net, we can go. do either a splash pot, the next hand, or we can do 50 to each. What do you guys want to do? 50 each. Okay. All right, so they're trying to decide what to do with the money from the game. Now, generally speaking, the last person that loses that has the nit button has to play a $50 bounty to each player. Okay, so they're going to do no pay-up. Yesterday we did a uh, thing where the person that lost rather than play, paying everybody, you know, 50 bucks, they would put in the middle as part of the pot for the next hand to give the person that lost an opportunity to get back in the game. So Carlos here, the small blind, going to make a big raise with 10s. Going to get rid of that nit button. This is when you give your nit button back. I'm second shift first, so I don't play the game. Just look that up. <laughs> Table banter for these gentlemen again. We got German money maker in the one seat. Oh, see in the two seat. Yeah, yeah. Harvey Cash in the three seat. Jay in the four seat. Carlos in the five seat. Bridge and Mike in the six seat. Wolfgang, content creator, YouTube vlogger, had a coming off a big, big win from the lodge a few weeks ago. I think it was over 30k. Fireman Mike making his 5-5-10 live stream debut and JD coming back paying the 5-5-10. That was up 6k then down 1200. Really tilted at 1200. Can you imagine? I heard Wednesday you guys got It's going to fall all the way around to Wolfgang who's going to raise from the big blind. <laughs> Alright, JD here. Gonna defend the straddle of Ace 8 off suit. Good flop for both players. Wolfgang here flopping a gutter to Broadway. JD top pair. Just making sure. You see the box of tissues. Yeah, I mean, life's good, right? I called you from way behind with these files. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Oh, you were actually a head over. I was ahead? Oh. Again, this is a match to stack live stream. I'm glad you have your uh, badge on today. Because whatever you don't wear your badge on. Three diamonds on the turn doesn't change anything. Let's see if Wolfgang's going to continue and barrel. Now only has about 9% equity. He's going to need a queen on this river. Is going to barrel here. Looks. Do I have to buy the 20? What do you want? 250, two thirds pot. That's kind of on your money. It's a small edge. Do I have to buy the premium or can I just have the free one? You want to know if you have to buy the premium or is there a free one? Of course you have to buy the premium. I want an app. Moneymaker, ask your friend if it will automatically put in the numbers without me putting it in. All right, JD is going to still call the top pair here. Very you know, marginal kicker here. Five of clubs doesn't change anything. If JD thinks he's good on the turn, he's got to think he's good here on this river. Again, we've talked about this in past streams. The nit button can make players do some, you know, take some interesting lines, interesting bets. Wolfgang here, going to triple barrel, go two-thirds pot here. Let's see if JD can sniff this one out. He's got to know he can't like his career. I think if he has a, a weaker kicker, like, you know, A6, Ace-9, A6, A4. He's going to make the call. Great call. JD getting rid of his knit button. <laughs> Wolfgang going to be reaching for add on chips. <laughs> Funny way you say JD doesn't follow the biggest calling station. That's not the biggest That's not the biggest Versus King. 
by this time yesterday we were already two all ins. How much you had? Just, just, just nuts, everybody dude. was just going really just, yeah, yesterday's it was supposed to be a two five match stack live stream yesterday. <laughs> Got to kind of put together last second. Generally on Fridays run five ten quarter, but ran a bigger game the day before ten twenty five with twenty five big blind inning. And last night's game had yeah, like four or five guys over five digits. Definitely played more like five ten. Gosh, probably play closer to 10-20. Now, today is going to, you know, it's advertised as 5-5-10. Five, five, it's probably going to play closer to 10-25 with a straddle. Jay here in the hijack going to open a Jack-9 Diamonds. Rich Mike's going to call, try to realize some equity. Suited to one gap for Moneymaker. Going to defend the straddle. Ace-8 off suit. See if that hand can win back-to-back -back hands. Moneymaker here. Flopping top pair. And obviously Jay with the flush draw and a barrel here. Going to bet 200 to 300, two thirds pot. Moneymaker's not going to go anywhere just yet with top pair. Great turn card from Moneymaker. Now turning trips does bring it in a second flush draw. Both players check turn. Five of diamonds. On the river, giving Jay Jack High Flush. See, he's gonna try maybe see try to target an ace here. Let's see what size he is gonna go with. Could go big, try to target an ace or king. Over bets pot. Uh, 1.6, 1.7. Moneymaker here in a weird spot. Front door flush gets there. Yeah, he can't be in love with this kicker. I think if he, he's got ace 10 plus, ace jack plus. And this is one of these spots where you just, you just have to like kind of stick it in. Uh, he does, ha you know, Jay does have better ace X, but with two on the board and two aces on the board. All right, oh, table talk. Jay saying it's a good board for him. What a fold. Moneymaker flow trips. Smelled it out. Good fold by Moneymaker here. That's high level. That's not as easy. I'm telling you right now, people at 1 2 snap calling there. High level fold there from German Maker, German Moneymaker after Jay. Triple barrels, Jack Nine of Diamonds gets her on the river with his flush. Moneymaker folding trip aces. I think he's like ace jack. And Jay targeting specifically an ace with that, that overbet. Our cash show here, plus one, still with his nip button. <laughs> Seven raise, 400. All right, oh, Wolfgang here waking up with big slick, big raise. All right, he's gonna get rid of his nip button there. Twenty-seven viewers in the chat. I need you guys to like, share, and subscribe. Smash it. Again, an interesting dynamic of table. Uh, distribution. Tougher. Essentially, but then the straddle becomes fifty. Yeah. Get bigger. Are you scared? 
I know. A little bit. JD's a table. I like to play as low stakes as possible against JD. Guys. It doesn't, that don't matter with it. It's too good. He's still making fun of all JD. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. He's wearing, he's wearing his whale shirt right now. He's wearing his whale shirt right now. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I think I'm changing the stakes. Well, it's going to be a suck. Take me to get a second for your 1025. Oh, is he going to lift? Third blind Harvey here. Come in with a raise. <laughs> oh, sees. He's going to snap call. He's going to hit the button 15. <laughs> Great flop. For OFC. Not a terrible flop for, for Cash. It does flop middle pair. Check. Let's see if OFC is going to try barrel here this flush draw. Two fifty here. I don't see Cash or going anywhere just yet with second pair. Ace of Diamonds. Okay. Harvey Casher with the ace on the river. Gonna well, do a check, a check. Bet Harvey Casher is going to pick up a little four hundred dollar pot, so or eight hundred dollar pot, right. putting a plus four hundred. <laughs> going to get rid of his zip button. I can't play these ten dudes, ten three. Again, for all the those of you trickling That's into the live game. stream. Thank you very much this Saturday morning. Hope you guys are sobered up after Cinco de Mayo. I think they got some like horse racing stuff going on today, if I remember correctly. I'm half joking, half serious, but. Again, Eddie the Asian sensation in the booth. Flat solo with the two card game. Bridge and Mike. Getting saucy here. Middle position with seven, eight offsuit moneymaker in the small blind. Gonna definitely call here with a suited ace. Go heads up. Yeah, Moneymaker's probably not gonna go anywhere based off this flop. Deuce of diamonds. Doesn't change too much on this board texture. Yeah, he's gonna Mike character checking thoughts gonna bet turn. 250. Two thirds pot. He's not going anywhere. Bridge Mike. Best chance at winning this hand is betting here. Moneymaker's probably going to check here. Very good bluff catcher. Just going to give up a check. Moneymaker getting rid of his nip button. Now, a few please players still have. Let's take a look again. Take a look at these stack sizes real quick, see who's added on. Two players left with the knit button. Fireman Mike in the eighth seat. Bridge Mike in the sixth seat. $50 bounty with a knit game. And as of, I don't think they're playing like seven deuce or anything like that. I know when OC and JD get in the mix of things, you know, like to play those games, so. Fireman Mike here again, again trying to get rid of his net button is gonna make seventy five eight seven two to OFC. Coming in with a three bet <laughs> with Jax. Uh, super speculative call here, although he is in position of OOC. Look for OOC to range bet here. Must have been checked through on the, on the flop. Small bet here. Snap full for Fireman Mike. Still has his nip button. Very competent table, now that I look at it.
Oh yeah, I need to give you guys points. I don't think you guys gave me points yet. Let's do that. I'm gonna give you guys 2,000 points. How about that? <laughs> Fireman Mike. Down to two remaining players. 25 straddle is on. Castro with 10s. Why are we going to come in with a three bet here? What's the size is coming over there? 600? The 4X. Oh wow, Bridge Mike with the same exact can. Tens are dead. Fireman Mike with a hammer lock on his hand. See what Mike's gonna do. What? Interesting spot. Just gonna make the call. I'm interested to see what Fireman Mike's gonna want to do here. He's just gonna rip a stack. Four bet rips. And stack, I, you know, I, I don't, I don't hate the rip here, especially after a three bet from Harvey. A cold call from the undergun straddle. Harvey in a tough spot. Bit of a predicament here. Let's see what he's going to do. It's a good hand to wake up with. Especially against Bridge Bike with both players both having their nip button. They're putting him on like over pairs. You know, he's not going to do this with like nines, right? Eights. He's either putting him in hand like an over pair to his tens, ace king, and he's flipping against that. He doesn't like that bridge Mike just cold calls his three bet. Harry Casho here going to make the fold. What a big fold. <laughs> out loud, Mike. <laughs> um, let's see what Mike's going to get. What's he going to do here? Uh, what a tough, tough spot. He's <laughs> plus ace king. Ace king off. Ace queen suited. You know, you run through the combos of Bridge Mike. <clears throat> At best, he's flipping. And at worst, he's dominated. There's a bike in the tank here. I wonder if he's thinking about... I, I, I think if... Fireman Mike does not have the nip button... He's in all rebuy. <laughs> So the first board is for the next. Yeah. We're going to be running it twice here. I told you to do it. He's making a move. He's making a move. Not a horrible flop for Big Mike. Oh, wow. Do you have Ace 10? That should be a board. Burn some outs there on the, on the first run out here. Mike, obviously, with Harry Castro having tens himself, not going to hit any sets. Harvey, you're supposed to do all this. You had 
Fireman Mike, up to 3,600. Oh, that's going to be so good to watch on the replay. It's going to be very good to watch on the replay, yeah. Fireman Mike. That board? I said, it was a perfect spot. It was a good spot. I haven't caught a single hand yet. Oh, he's going to suit it. Tough, tough hand for Bridge Mike there. As Katie's gonna square up the chip count to get everything good to go. Bridge Mike now down quickly about 2K plus. I was going off my coach advice over it. He said just jam. Maybe should just jam. It's a good coach. <laughs> Guys having a good time here. Oh yeah, that's true. So not only does he lose uh, the hand, the hand, he loses the knit game. Bridge Mike quickly down about 4K. Fireman Mike up about 3,200. <laughs> This is like the best yeah, start. Yeah. Because it's like, you don't put me on that. No, no, no. Not at all. Yeah, that was a perfect op setup. For Fireman Mike. Yesterday when he said you mean other heads of last year, he said somebody else. Of course. Somebody else was also in the white home and watched the head. You guys want to say what's from the blue chart, guys? The other guy fucked Rob was straight, but he fell like a couple months ago. The other guy had like a shot. One straight. Quarter straddle on again. I believe the straddle is going to be on for the whole shape, if, if not the majority of it. Oh, is he just going to call here? Cash on the button with a suited ace wheel car, uh, hand. Going to raise it. Mike, you have a hand. You're 10. Wolfgang here going to come up with a three back and make it. <laughs> Make it 400. Fireman Mike at fold. I wonder if we're yeah, full season of fold. Interesting to see what Cash is gonna do here. Probably lay it down. I think if I think if he has Ace Five suited, he could probably call here. Ace Five suited. Sometimes with these wheel, with these wheel cards, you can, you can mix in some four betting. Don't want to do it too often. With this hand specifically, I, Ace Five Suited could mix in some four back. He's gonna come in here with, with a four back. Gonna min click it. The face of confusion from Wolfgang makes it look very, very valuey. Make the call. Gonna go heads up with about sixteen hundred in this pot. Oh, what a flop for Wolfgang. Flops a boat, tens full of queens. This live stream run good is alive and real. SPR just slightly above a one. Could go small bet. Obviously, our reason, uh, oh, it's not gonna, gonna go anywhere. Super teeny tiny bet. I think he's setting up a 0.8 SPR jam on the turn. Got Reen in the chat. Frank, Pokemonkey, David, Rosie. Thanks for tuning in Saturday afternoon. I was in college. I remember I was in college. Like, Wolfgang here going to come in with a raise. 
Yeah, definitely Harvey's gonna you fold here. With the snap fold, Harvey down. Castro now turning things around after losing a little bit early on, after triple barreling King Jack off with a miss right away draw. Harvey's on tilt, oh, let's see. Mike here flopping two bear. This is a very connected wet board though. Sean here with open ended. Let's see what my Fireman Mike here gonna bet two hundred. Ah. Let's see a make call here. He likes to chase these draws. There's no. Oh, gonna make the fold. <laughs> Forty viewers in the chat. Thank you for tuning in. Saturday, five five ten match stack here at Poker House Dallas. Poker House Live. And a few hands. We're gonna pull up some stats. V pip stack sizes. Cumulative wins. Jay here. Twenty five dollars strat. Gonna go four x. Again, the knit game is now off. It looks like we're going to be playing the knit game every dealer change. So JD's going to defend. He's not going to defend here. Jay picking up the blinds along with the straddle. Turning back to hand, hand 15. Wolf King here picking up suited connectors here. Look for him to open. 100? 75? Gonna go 3x the straddle. All 
right, everybody's folding. What's what's going on? Hook time, like. I need all you guys to like. 50 viewers in the chat. Saturday evening. All right, so I've been talking with some of the high stakes players about a couple suggestions. I want to run these by you in the chat. So our big game is generally on the Friday 5 take quarter. But unfortunately, it's our Euros viewership. We're competing with other, you know, the Lodge, Hustler, Five at the Bike. So the return is good. And I get that. So you're thinking about moving that stream to a different day, A, or B, maybe even doing a later start time. So what do you guys think about that? Fireman Mike here on the button with a suited king. Oh, seeking to defend the third blind with an ace. Great flop for OSC, flopping top pair. Turns the flush, seven high flush. Let's see if he's going to bet here. Super teeny tiny bet, quarter pot. Get Fireman Mike to call here, peel one street. Six of clubs doesn't bring anything out. I think he's going to do a check check. Let's see. Oh, he's going to continue to barrel. 45%. Yeah, I don't see Fireman Mike continuing here, making the call with four hearts. Yeah, um, Fireman Mike in the late down. Content creators here. Different day is cool, but for sure later. So, okay, yeah. I mean, we usually run 5:45 to 9:45 with like you know delay starting around 6 6:05 on your viewer on the viewership end. Um, maybe doing 7 to 11 p.m. Even 8 to midnight. I, it's it's so tough. Fridays are tough. I'm thinking of moving the earlier streams or the bigger stream to an earlier day in the week. Still here with the best hand at the flop of the top pair. Now brings in additional draws with that seven of spades on the turn. See if these players are going to try to take a stab. Wolf is going to make a stab here. One third. Uh, slightly under half power, 45%. Four hearts on the river. Let's see if it's just going to go check, check. Wolfgang knows he probably can't win here. Okay, Carlos here. 
Going to take over the betting league in about 220. 45% pie. Yeah, Wolfgang going to make the snap full there. Money maker here. Flopping trips. Carlos here with just ace high. Could float here. You may think that ace high is good. He does the block, the nut flush draw. He does a paired board. Nine of hearts now becomes slightly more coordinated. Look for money maker to size up here. Now money maker is blocking straights. Bet snap fold. Nick game is not on. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen. Mike here. Now turns the best hand. Wolfgang here. <laughs> Bring him in, Mike. We'll try to barrel here. Bridge Mike gonna come in. I Wolfgang, I will foresee him calling here with the, the combo draw. He's got two pair outs. Club outs, ten outs. Three of spades, probably the brickest of bricks on the turn. On the river, I mean. <laughs> Little block bet by Bridge and Mike here on the river. <laughs> and it's a really weird card to bet on with the three of spades. Lots of draws missed, some straight draws missed. On the eight nines already there. Jack nine, you know. Yeah, he's going to make the call. Bridge and Mike having Fireman Mike. So we've got two Mikes, Bridge and Mike and Fireman Mike. And with the straddle being on, this game's gonna be playing closer to 10 quarter. Moneymaker here with 10s, middle position. Gotta probably make at least 75, if not 100. Pretty standard 3x open. Wow. 
Probably Mike here going to defend the straddle. As it folds all the way around to him. Money Baker here with the best hand. Could see bet range here. Small bet, 50. Yeah, Mike's going to be tough for him to continue. All right, let's take a look at some stack sizes here real quick. All right, Rich Mike, after adding on a win a couple of hands, after getting felted, uh, relatively felted. About uh, 6K, Mike after winning a big hand from Bridge Mike. The Mike's swapping some chips here up to about 5,600. Cash show moneymaker about 3,500, 3,500 3, respectively. Again, a tough table here. Uh, very fundamental sound players. V pips are not going to be high with the exception of probably OFC. Now, Fireman Mike does have the highest V pip. Get back to that after this hand. Look at Kimula wins and losses. Uh, congratulations to RV Phil finishing third in the 1100. Can be firing today. JD with top hair after defending the straddle. Carlos here with an open ender. Big bet was it 175? But over bets pot. I don't see JD folding here just yet. And Jay and Carlos here on the turn, getting there with the straight. What a perfect gin card for him. Interesting to see what sizing he's going to go with. Again, he already has the the well, technically king tens and nuts, but no clubs. That's pot. Which isn't the biggest skill, but like I'm not gonna back yeah, and JD knows there's not many river cards that are going to help him out there. How long are they delaying the final table? It's like a couple weeks. March 26th. Oh, uh, May 26th. March 26th. Damn. We're going to go back in time. A year minus a couple weeks? Yeah, they pull out their money and they invest it in those treasury bonds and then they pay it up. I mean, they did that over COVID unintentionally. And a bunch of final tables pending. And then COVID happened, so they shut down. So they held it for a year. They invested in Bitcoin at that point. Like the players had to wait a year. Oh, shit. Fireman Mike here in the big blind suited ace. Tickets can come for a race. Really small size. Special off these limbs. Would probably want to raise about buck fifty. Not gonna get too many folds. Yeah, both OFC and Jay gonna make the call. Now Fireman Mike playing this hand out of position. Jay flopping the best of it. I like the race here. Jay with top pair, also blocking nut flushes. Gonna be, yeah, relatively, unless Fireman Mike wants to get super spicy. Yeah, he's just gonna make the fold. Good raise there by Jay. Connected board. Straight draws, or some flush draws. Yeah. 
Do you play cash afterwards or you head right back? I'll head back. Yeah. I got a class the next day, so. Are you a senior? Uh, junior. Graduated in December. Right? Fireman Mike here with the Kings after an open from Carlos and the hijacks. Oh, I, I can't be right back. I would have been down. I, uh, bro, I have a test. I actually have an exam Monday, so I got to do some studying if I bust it. Where do you go to school? That's it. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, wow. What a setup. That's a good point. We're going to. So these players with really, really, you know, post flop, good hands, eight, eight, nine suited, seven, six suited. Beg my teacher to take it to fall. Is this another one? I played for six figures. Please. You don't play soccer by chance, do you? I do. Yeah. I had no idea, but you just look like Fire Mike just going to make the call. Interested to see what this develops on this flop. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I know I played club all four years, but cool. Where did you get it? Soccer at A&M. Obviously the worst card to see when you flop, when you have aces, or when you have queens and kings, respectively. Fireman or Moneybaker going to try to represent a hand like Ace Queen, Ace King. Obviously, yeah, Fireman Wax with King is going to be double blocking Ace King. Mike's just not going to fold. Just... I hit up everyone. I hit up a kid from North Dallas. He's like, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. I think this turns into a check check, unless it's a King or a Queen. <laughs> Yeah, cool. Alright. Till September at least. Till September? Yeah, at least. And then I'll probably extend it. Oh, you've been traveling the most. It's the best part. That's good. Yeah. I do what I like to do. Like, JD's gonna start doing something. Oh, wow. When you make your hair saved by that king on the river. I like it. JD's married. Okay, I'll take you out to the club. If you have respect for the no, 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 he's players playing the hand and not talking. <laughs> oh wow. Over pot size oh. rip. Fireman Mike having a good 5-5-10 five, five, debut here. Joey Pigdales. I meant good to see you again. I love your vlogs. They have like a Jamin Jamin Burton esque with like the cartoon stuff. But the only suggestion I have for your vlogs, and I've only watched like two or three of them, so I could have not. We'll love to see your actual physical faces, so we can put a face to the um, put a face to the to the player. That's not my only suggestion. But love the vlogs again. For those of you in the chat, if you're into the four card variety, Joey Pigtails, content creator, with the plo. And if you haven't yet liked, shared, and subscribed, we have over 50 viewers here in the chat. Wolfgang here getting a little spicy with Queen Town offsuit. What is that? 105? I was gonna call, but that just threw me off. Cut the fat, as they say. I just gotta calculate the whole percentage, so I'm holding. Take a trim. Yeah, Mike's probably not going to continue here. Yeah, Wolf Gang here. Players need some more alcohol. Different, but it, it taught me to like actually like slow myself. 
Bridge Mike here going to open up with a suited Broadway cards. But Irvin Mike going to make the call, probably looking to set line. He's probably obviously thinks his hand could be good here against Bridge Mike. Is it decent? Yeah, it's good. I enjoy it. Car here going to come in with a three bet. I think it's better than ACR, like, just because there's, like, so many regs on ACR. Like Relatively big three bet size. I like dark table, but like I felt like as a whole, it was just kind of very like perhaps very. Everyone was like really focused, you know. Are we here going to get rid of it? I mean, everybody going to get rid of it except for Harvey. Nice hand here for Harvey. With the three bet out of position, the ace king offsuit after an open. Some cold calls from behind as it gets to him in the blinds. <laughs> it was like it was like one of those things where the clock's like in ten seconds, right? And I'm like, I know he wants to standing up, he's holding his cards like the whole. So just to give him a little needle, I like really tanked, I'm like, oh. and he like looked at me like, don't do that. And then so I looked at him and I like, I just started taking the and then he got mad. I told him to leave. And then and then, then we were friends. But oh go after a racket start. Did you get him a penalty back now, sir? Okay, players opening it up now. Limp raise with some very marginal hands. Oh, let's see. And a three bet on the small play with sevens. Oh, wow, Jay. Everybody, oh, Jay with kings, Carlos with queens. Players waking up with premiums. This is a setup. Wow, Jay just gonna call here. Opting not the four bet. The deck, he like moves the it's, it's a, yeah. This is crazy. Mike's in fold. Jay's in fold. Oh, just kidding. He's gonna make the call. Oh, wait, he is in position with 10 9 offsuit, so makes a little bit of sense. Getting a decent price. Wow, Jay. Popping top set. Carlos here. Queen high flush. Just gonna check around. Six of hearts on the turn doesn't do much. I think Jay's gonna have to just rate. He's gonna have to put some start putting some money in the pot. Try to deny some equity against some single spade holdings. Half pot. You see Carlos here just gonna make the call. Now the force OSC and JD out. <laughs> Big pop blue in here. Carlos can need a queen or a spade. Ace of diamonds. And Jay's gotta think he's in good shape here. Carlos had the flush. Probably would have raised the turn. That that ace on that river here. Now, as played, it's gonna be tough for Jay to have ace x here. Yeah, gonna get it through. Carlos gonna fall. That ace, I think, say that. I think that if that ace doesn't come on the river, I think he calls a river bet. Well, now with two over cards to. Uh, uh, his pocket queens played it very passive. I played my hand really weird. <laughs> you did, Jay. You played it really, really weird. That that spade saved you. So, I mean, that ace saved you some money, Los. So. So these players pulling some Broadway cards. Oh my gosh, there you go, Carlos. Redemption. Aces. Back to back premiums from Carlos again. Got bailed out last hand. I wouldn't be surprised if Moneymaker. Oh, Moneymaker's gonna fold here. I think if he if he was suited here, you know, King Queen suited. 
All right, new dealer change. BJ in the, the box. Again, tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be running a $130 buy-in 10K guaranteed next Jet Meetup game tournament starting at 2 p.m. 20K starting stack, 20-minute levels. I want to get that ad for you guys. Oh, yeah, very, yeah, very confident. I got it, I got it. I got it. We need, we need, oh, yeah, that's right there. I mean, that doesn't matter, I guess. Come on, JD. Give us your cards. I'm going to play JD's. See, I told you. Too fair. All right, here with this flip. Oh, no. got the Rosco. I don't have information, uh, Travis Smith, on the new room and girls. Nuts! Got enough blocker, too. We're chopping. No. Enough blocker here. No. Oh, I think we're chopping. Oh, I have a straight, too. It sucks, man. It's low. Oh, hoo, wee! I actually have a lot of houses. Yeah, we're going to have a Fireman Mike here, been to pick up this flip. Hey, you people, I never win these. Yeah. Oh, we to go to the right. Are we doing a mid game again? Yeah. Every dealer change. Every dealer change. All that happens to every dealer. Yeah, don't be a weenie, Jay. Just kidding. How much is the mid game? 50. 50. Knit game is back on, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I saw that too, Rena. I'm not 100% positive on what's going on with all that, so. Back to real two card poker. Again. Nick game on. Yellow button by the player means they're still in the Nick game. $50. You go heads up. Queens versus eights. Carlos picking up all the premiums today. Good flop for Carlos here. Not a bad flop for JD. Only one overcard to his pair. Let's see what Carlos is going to do. Could go small here. Queens on this board don't need a ton of protection. Big bet. Really big bet. And JD's just going to lay it down there. Shows the Queens gets rid of the knit button. Could have gone small there. Well, yeah, you pay me, 
And 31. I'm going to pull up the stats here again shortly. Five ways, six ways to this flop, four to 15. After race and Moneymaker with a seat to ace, all these players except Carlos with the nit button. Moneymaker does flop the best of it. Carlos with the second nut plus drop, no one with a three. See, I wonder if Moneymaker is going to try to deny some equity here with the top pair. Forty-five percent pot. Carlos isn't gonna gonna go. Isn't going anywhere. Card here for Carlos here. Yeah, it's gonna be tough for him to lay this down. Obviously, he's probably putting Money Maker on the ace here. Money Maker generally like never has three X on this board. Gonna float. Yeah, eight of spades is gonna be brick. Uh, I think it's gonna go check check, maybe. Money maker with enough showdown value. Be very wise for Carl. Ooh, Carlos. Yeah. Gonna be tough for Carlos to get money maker on that. Money maker is probably not betting two street. So with, with Carlos having clubs. It's unlikely that Moneymaker has clubs. So based off pre-flop action, flop turn action, Moneymaker's gonna have a lot of the ace X's there. So could have just checked. Moneymaker probably would have checked back. Carlos did have enough showdown value there. Again, he's turning his hand into a bluff, trying to maybe get Moneymaker of a weak ace. Now Moneymaker did have a weak ace. So again, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow. 2 p.m. 20k starting stack, $130 buy in 20 minute levels. 10k guaranteed, the ultimate bankroll builder. Next gen meetup game tournament tomorrow. Come join us. Probably gonna expect over 100 entries. Oh, see, you can open the suited connectors. Carlos on the button with suited wheel ace, bridge mic. Call Wolfgang gonna defend the big blind. Again, all these players, with the exception of Carlos, have the knit button. You go three ways to this flop. Diamond's gonna be tough to hit. Carlos actually with the best hand with ace high. Poker monkey, no zero on, on points. Checks around, flop turn. Nine of spades. Carl's with the best hand. I wonder if one of these players is going to take a stab at it. That's going to be Carl, uh, OFC. 
Oh, see, gonna take it down there, turning his hand into a bluff. Yeah, poker monkey. I can guarantee you, the zeroing out of points is never gonna happen under my watch. Okay. Jay here. All these players waking up with pocket premiums. <laughs> Don't mess with me about the points. I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't do it. I never throw Eric under the bus, except for the points of the backle here. Jay's going to take down this little small pot with queens. All right. Cumulative wins, losses after this dealer change. Fireman Mike, again, those players with the yellow dot next to their name still have their knit button. Fireman Mike up about 3,700, 3,800. Jay up about 2,600. Moneymaker up 1,000. Bridge Mike down 3,600 after losing that all in. Basically, the, the reason that Fireman Mike is up as much as he is and the reason Bridge Mike is down as much as he is. Got it all in pre flop. Aces versus King ran both boards, full boards. Aces hold up on both boards. Again, the knit game is on $50 a person. <laughs> Mike, as I said that he has aces here, wakes up with them again. Race from Carlos. I think JD here is going to come out with a four bet. Could think that fireman Mike squeezing after a late position open a call. Three thousand? Doesn't need to go super, super big. Eleven hundred, twelve hundred. Small three bet. Two and a half X. What's Mike gonna do here? Table's quieted down. Incognito. Uh, he comes back Tuesday. Wow. Big grip here. Could be looking like he's trying to get rid of the knit button. You're my poker coach. That is nice. Man, you need a new coach. You want to see that? Fireman, Mike, they're so potentially losing some value <laughs> by ripping there. Maker here gonna call out of the blind. Suited connectors, OC, 
Uh, he's gotten rid of the knit button. We were joking with him at lunch today that he left sweating out when he got heads up with the knit button versus um, NFG or Cotton yesterday. I couldn't remember which one it was, so. Ended up getting rid of the knit button. Incognito, thanks for tuning in. Are we here gonna squeeze with the suited one gap for eight, six, a heart, big sizing. Oh, it could get through. He's gonna get this three. I don't see LFC ever calling in this spot against Harvey. I knew that. I knew that. But everybody here is like, interesting. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, bad weather on the way. That's not good. Nice little squeeze there with the 8 6 suited from Harry Castro out of the straddle. multi-way in this flop five ways about 400 in the pot everybody with a little bit of everything no one with that although oh he flops the wheel. he's gonna bet here he's gonna try to target an ace and he's gonna be very disappointed that no one has an ace everybody's just gonna unfortunately fold around Jaden's looking to maybe try to make a move on later streets. He's going to check back. Sneaky check back. Going to try to get JD to stab at this. Smart check back. Queen of Hearts. Flood door flush shot gets there. Tough. He does have a jack of hearts. Gonna try to represent flushes. <laughs> nice hand there by OFC. Being really sneaky and being KG checks there on the turn in the river. on the $25 straddle. Oh, uh, $25 straddle? Yeah, I guess $25 straddle. Big bet. Trying to get rid of that knit button. It's, it's forbidden. Jay here gonna right defend the third big one of Ace 10 suited. I like to defend here. It's not a good board for Bridge Mike. Could arrange it. See if he's gonna arrange that here. To check back. Or just better for Jay. I thought you said I 
Bridge Mike are representing overs. This run is just really bad for Bridge Mike's hand. See if Jay's gonna continue to stab here. Get a bit about half pot, very value heavy size bet. I think, I think Bridge Mike would just call and just to potentially get rid of, of the nit button. I think if he doesn't have the nit button there, I think he, uh, he'll fold in most occasions, but. Cumulative win losses. Barman Mike up again. Jay up in the four seat. Two players remaining left with a knit button. Wolfgang JD, Carlos, and Bridge Mike down 2K, 3,100 respectively. I'm going to get big on the tournament team. Yeah, I mean, very tough to feel. Like, yeah. I'm going to have like 19 <laughs> The next one. The next one. The next one. The next The next one. 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 The next Oh, bad turn card for OC. Very similar to Carlos turning a 10. Let's do a check, check. I think. Where's Frankie been? Though? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Rev RJD. I don't know much about what he's doing. I just saw his Instagram. Oh, that's right. That's right. He's playing this tournament. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, Frankie's in uh, Malaysia, Asia. I think I had you before. Nice bluff, Jay. Wolfgang gonna have to pay <laughs> the bounty. Do I have to pay myself or not? <laughs> yes, you do. Put 450 out and pay yourself 50. <laughs> That's a new actually, app we need to develop for you. Sermon Buddy Makers. Yeah, he can do that too, so he feels better. Yeah. He's already made a website. It's a shitty Pokemon shop. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 Yeah, that's what I'm saying.
Going to take this pot down. Oh, let's see. I don't think Jay's going to be full in here. Yeah, going to fold. Here we go. Uh, 
think we all are like All right, getting that all squared up. Wait, wait, oh, burns down, burns down. <laughs> there we go, getting all squared up. <laughs> Oh, so so <laughs> <laughs> well, see with top pair. Probably still going to continue to borrow equity. Or to deny equity, excuse me. Because a more uh, con connected, coordinated board brings it straight your guys along with the front, front door diving. No, he didn't drop that one. I would have already done that. Until very recently that you, you can't right, we're heads up. Like the, the reason they keep pushing the cards for it is... Yeah, that's why everybody was laughing when you made fun of me a couple weeks ago. I had no idea. Okay, Someone right. told me after, they're like, oh, you know how they push the cards for it? I'm like, I wonder why they did it. Oh, thank God. Like, they're trying to show you the cards. See, that's... that's JD that's here going to take this pot down. I'm going to push the cards. JD, very nice. Very great. I'm going to play, like, out there, right? Uh, 25 straddle on here from Moneymaker in the one seat. Wolf King here, Ace King, and a coming for the three bet. Out of position. 300, 250, 300, let's see. Break three bet. Jay, a non believer. Pretty speculative call here. Pick Wolfgang to range bet here. Could mix in checks. Oh yeah, for seeing quarter, third pot. Seven bets, three Okay. Forty percent pot. Jay looking to make a move here. Interesting turn card. It's actually a really bad turn card for Jay. I think whatever turn card is going to be is going to try to turn into a bluff maybe on the turn. <laughs> Still looking like he's wanting to. It'd be a very interesting card to do it with small bet, one third pot. I think if Jay thought that Wolfgang had an over pair, he would barrel here on the turn. Sometimes, not all times. Just gonna lay it down, laying down the best hand.
JD here going to try to squeeze from the big line with Ace-8 offsuit. You've seen this trial, right? Oh, see non-believer here. Let's see if Mike's going to come along as well. Yeah, go outside and guess which trial says. Just go outside and guess. Yo, one try. Great block for JD here. Does not have diamonds, though. Gonna just check back here. Four hearts, relative brick on the turn. Fireman Mike gonna check. Let's see if JD's gonna try to start building a pot first up to check action. Checks through on the river. Checks through to the river. Fireman Mike opting not to take a stab at it, especially multi-way. Alright, for this 5 5 10 match of stacks, take a look at the stack sizes right now. Fireman Mike with the biggest stack, over 7K. All the way down to cost 3K. Down about 2K for the session. When you change, it's like 15. Oh, win losses again so far. Wolfgang now down. Was up a bit early on. DJ back in action here. About halfway through the live stream, not quite, just a pinch on the two. Halfway through. Wolfgang here in the hijack. See the gapper here with a 4-6 of hearts. That's going to make it 75. JD here, the buddy can 3-bet this hand. Does opt to 3-bet to 250. I like the 3-bet here. Oh, let's see. Suited connectors himself. I think if Wolfgang was like at 5-6 suit, I think calls here. One gapper doesn't feel that great. He's gonna make the call. Now he is in position of OFC, out of position to JD on this hand. It's a really good call for OFC. Top two pair. Backdoor spades. He's gonna opt to lead out here. Don't expect to see JD going anywhere. Draw heavy board. Clubs and straight draws. Not 
really projects. It's more like in the computer knowing how to do certain things. And it's uh, specific. Thank you. Oh. Four total. Jerry's just gonna peel her, doesn't need a raise. Really bad turn card. JD's gonna have a lot of like the King Queens. I'd be surprised if it's JD. I think JD, JD was thinking about stabbing there. Not stabbing, I mean, he did have some showdown value, but not like the best showdown value. Probably gotta believe that yeah. pair of tens is not great there. I think if that king, if the club, stuff, the front door flush isn't coming, I think he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna make a stab. Moneymaker and Bridge Mike here at the Bridge Mike Limit calls the raise from Moneymaker. Not a great board for Moneymaker. Gonna just check here. A side can have some showdown value. Big bet. Snap call, a snap fold, rather. All right, a shot talking about being a tournament crusher. <laughs> right now. Always thought that was interesting, see how people, different people do it. 
Jay here going to three bet out of the small blind. King Queen offsuit. Carlos may defend here. Yeah, opposite defend with the A7 suited. Now, Fireman Mike here getting a relatively decent price to set mine. In position of the small blind and the big blind. Yeah, Sean's just not in a good spot with the suited king there. Jay here's just gonna check. Carlos here gonna pick, take over the betting lead. Small bet. Third pot. Again, Mike with overs just gonna have to lay it down. Uh, I think if Jay had like a heart in his hand. He's gonna try and drill the gutter on the turn. Two of diamonds, Brick. So, say, say, give an example to the same thousand dollar tournament. Let's say a pro, like, let's say a top pro, and you want to stay calm, you want to get a pro. Oh, the pro gets 20% of the profit. Oh, the pro gets 20%. I'm wondering why. Fuck that, I want 50. I'm not finding a deal like this. I don't give a shit up about money. You are not the right guy to get staked. <laughs> <laughs> the pros take 20% and I put the whole money in. Like for the main event, like the top pros charge like something like... like for the main event, it's like there are some guys who will charge you more. But like something like 40%, 35-40% of themselves. Yeah, it's talking about marking up. Interesting. All right, BJ back in the box. Let's continue with the action here. Just get started, but I'm going to buy a pro. Like, seriously. I don't think 20% of the battle. If you know any pros, let me know. I'm not taking this. Like, seriously. Stop taking 1.25. So you're paying 1.25, 1.2, no problem? 1.1. No, this, this, the entry, right? Stake down entry for tournaments. Like the 5K, 2K, 1K, whatever. Carlos here again flopping the best of it. Top pair. Bridgeback with a gutter. Jay with a side backdoor hearts. Let's gonna check around this flop. Seven of hearts. How do you define pro? Now Bridgeback open ender. Jay now turning the nut flush draw. Uh, we'll have a job. So who's your top player in your list? Uh, I got one guy. Uh, oh. Bridge Mike and a race is open ender here. Yeah, and Jay just gonna fold. Rich Mike getting a really good feel for it for this table. Carlos with the best hand here. Why don't we all three put in the money and do it together? And we stake two or three players, like a like a like a syndicate. Yeah, we first pass you have to find a player, then you have to trust the player. Guys, don't worry, if you don't find a player, I'll play. Yeah, so we'll do the stakes. I'll play. Oh, Joe, it's actually I'll pretty decent right now. I think we got six or seven players. It's a shot. It's a lot of work, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm doing double snaking. It's not easy. So it's not as easy as, hey, no. okay, play for me. No. 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 Sean, Sean, the really good players, they either have money themselves or, like, they have plenty of people who give them money. Right. The bad players, they always need money. So, like, you got to fill through the, you know, like, you have to have the good stuff. Like, 
That's a good point. I'll check, Wojo. I'm going to ask him what fucking stage was I know this guy named Rampage, you can buy his action online. You can. There's nothing to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rampage there's is a fucking ball. Yeah, there's a site you can go buy his action on. Yeah. Some of the cash games. Yeah. Big bet one. Yeah. Oh, you can take anyone. You ask me. Okay. <laughs> you can take anyone. Yeah. You can take anyone. You can take anyone. You can take anyone. You can take You can take anyone. You can take anyone. You can take anyone. Carlos here flopping top two on this board has a line share with the equity. There's some turn cards that can give Harvey some additional equity. Yeah, it's not getting you chase it against a player like Carlos. Chip stack size, 5, 5, 10, match the stack. Bridge Mike, 69. Fireman Mike, the two mics on the table on the left side. 69, 6,700. Cash and JD short here. Surprised that JD's not. Uh, she was probably not right. JD usually taps off her ads on on their normal circumstances. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in this Saturday. Five, five, ten match stack here at Poker House Dallas hey guys, Poker House Live. Uh, Eddie, the Asian <laughs> sensation in the booth, flying solo. I'm ready to be staked. I understand the staking business. <laughs> yeah. You better have some really rich friends. <laughs> you better have some really rich friends too. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you get that from your German coach over there? Yeah, I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning his words or? I got some coaching. Wolfgang here, I'm gonna try to get spicy with the King Jack. I of my action today. <laughs> How much Marco? That's like friendly stuff. That's like friendly How much stuff. Marco? So, he gets 20% and losing he gets 22. So if I win he gets 20% uh, of the day. See what Wolfgang is going to do here. He's going to just check. No need to really bluff here. Sometimes Ace I is good. It's not a good board for Wolfgang's three bet range. Especially the flopping, so che uh, checking flop and turn. I think. If, uh, the thing, here's the thing. I think if you know, Wolfgang bets here, I think Jay's gonna call. Uh, just gonna ch should just check back here in the most spots. One game, I won 22 game where you got 50. I I want to talk to you off stream about where the numbers come from. Like wait 22 some days, 28 some days, and that? That's what he does. I don't know. But like, how does, how does he, does he <laughs> like, you know what, today, I don't want 22. So he's the new world, the new, new world, new world logic. He, he uses a sentence, a word, that he says that he has a number, and that's the number he picks. Is that what you said? <laughs> a number? He just sends a number, 22, 27, 29, 40. 40 <laughs> I just love losing the table talk. But I said 50 is max and never more than that. So yeah. he's picked 50 only one time. And it worked, yeah, out, and it worked out, out perfect for him. Really cool. Does he know the lineup? He never asked the lineup. Is he a poker or a He plays big on okay. So this is just fun for him to watch the TV. <laughs> he gets bored not having a stake and having to watch yeah, the stream. Yeah. So it's just for shits and giggles. I mean, like you have a system. Yeah, very specific. 22, 27. 27 is his usual thing. That's so weird. I, I'll show you text. You, you won't believe it. No, 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 so I believe you. No, I believe it. It's supposed to be like, what's wrong with like 15, 20, like white 22? Like, you know, like a, I don't know, two rate.
Carlos here turning the flush draw. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I had to step outside and double check something with chip stack sizes. Oh, Carlos gets there on the river. It's a really bad card for OFC here. About a third pot. Uh, I believe Carlos is going to come in for the raise. Should it just try to call here? Queen hand like Queen Jack gets there. Some two pair combos that OOC has. Min click from Carlos. Such a good price, but these min clicks on the river just like scare me. I don't know about you guys watching in the chat. I think Carlos knows. I mean, even with two pair, I don't even think Carlos makes this move under normal circumstances. Thanks, Wojo. I, is that better? I usually do a mic test, so. Carlos here gonna pick up a thousand dollar pot. You were the only one that's told me that, Wojo, so I appreciate that. Hopefully that's better. Guys can hear me in the chat. Can Eddie the Asian sensation in the booth flying? So I need commentators, backup commentators, guest commentators for future streams. It's tough running the production side and commentating alone. Again, here we are for this 5-5-10 five, five, match to stack here on Saturday. Ooh, Carlos using OC strategy against him. Heads up to this flop. Both players flopping top pair. JD with the better kicker. Definitely some chop opportunity outs. Ah, uh, another, another card above the eight. Yeah, OC is not full, and he's not going to full top pair, especially against a player like JD. JD is very capable, very can be a very aggressive at times. Now JD here with the best hand, hopefully putting on on a hand exactly like what. OFC is going to check back. JD is going to win by virtue of having OFC out pipped. So, yeah, the seven plays on this hand. JD picking up a pot about $350. Thanks, Wojo. I appreciate that. Wojo, where are you from? I haven't seen you in the chat before. So, yeah, Wojo, I just checked out like seven. Seven tables, I believe, going right now. Nine tables gone, so four one two tables, this live stream table, private game, so <laughs> all right, gonna be swapping it out here with the action tracker. Uh KD gonna be taking over the dealing side of things here. All right, we're gonna pull this up real quick. Again tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. The first of every Sunday. I'm oh, sorry, excuse me. This is the first time we're doing it every week. So every Sunday at 2 p.m., the Next Gen Meetup Game Tournament. We're calling it the Ultimate 10K Guarantee Bankroll Builder. Going to be hosted by Next Gen. 20K starting stack, $130 for 20 minute levels. 
Now, I just confirmed that Frankie is in Asia right now. Rosie's not going to be available. I think Jello will be here. So, come on out tomorrow, 2 p.m. Yeah, if you make day two over there for TCH, or if you're up in Choctaw and you bust and you want to come and play a very value driven tournament, come shoot your shot tomorrow here at Poker House, Dallas Poker House Live. All right, let's see who's got the best hand. Wolfgang. Oh, turns the boat. Fires a six. Uh, Wolfgang going to take it. We got two. Come on, four. Queen. Yeah, a bunch of dead hands. Four, eight. Oh, yeah. So sorry. I thought sixes, or uh, fives full of sixes. Incorrect. I didn't see the ace that Wolfgang had there. <laughs> fives full of aces actually flops it. So it flops the best hand here. All right, got that all squared up there. Wolfgang here in middle position. Again, the knit game is on, on the dealer change. Yellow button means knit game. $50 bounty. Going to make it 75 middle position with we'll the wheel ace. Now, this is the part of the stream, the part of the game where players are going to be a little looser with their ranges pre-flop. Jay can actually come in here for the three bet, yeah. And it's going to three bet very... Uh, gonna three bet a little, uh, not, not not super wide. I mean, it's this hand can function as a three bet, three bet squeeze, three bet bluff, especially with the knit game on. The players are probably gonna factor that into decision making. Jay looking to be the first one to get rid of his knit button here. Yeah, with action behind, it's gonna be tough for Wolfgang to call after calls from both JD and the cutoff, and OFC and the big blind. I like the squeeze. Yeah, OC doesn't like to fold. Especially with the knit game on. Not a horrible flop for OC. Jay trying to rep, hand, rep hands, ace, king, king, queen. Does to have the back door nut flush draw with spades. And he's going to see Bet Ranger. OC is going to call with bottom pair. I just don't see him folding it with the Nick game on. Uh, maybe not. Unless he thinks Jay is capable of bluffing your over pairs. Yeah, he's going to make the call. Wouldn't be surprised. Oh, he comes in with the check raise. It's 3x out of position. Yeah, it's going to be tough for Jay to continue here in this spot. Look for him to make the fold. Oh, it comes back with a re-rip. <laughs> Playing poker, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I just don't see... Oh, oh. Gosh, I don't know. Goes for the three-bet rip. Going to force OFC to go all in. 
this hand. Oh, seeing a tough spot here. He probably felt like he had the best hands. Kind of a draw heavy board. Good board for him. Uh, defending the big blind. Oh, see, actually, with the best hand here. That's true. The knit game is on. Irrespective of who wins his hand, the hand, uh, the winning hand is going to be flipped over. And Jay, just thinking, oh, see, so he's just full of it. Maybe putting him on some combo draw. Queen ten of diamonds. Queen jack of diamonds. Jack ten of diamonds. Those type of combo draws. Yeah, good. And he shows it, and OFC is going to be on tilt. Know that he had the best hand. Jay with aggressive three bet on this flop. Definitely representing over pairs hands like Ace King. Probably trying to deny some equity against some draws. Okay, we're about halfway through the stream, a little more than halfway. Let's take a look at these chip stack sizes. Again, the only player with their nit button gone, Jay. Yellow dots for the players next to their name. It means they still currently have the nit button. Wolfgang with the poker house. What kind of hat is that called? I don't remember what it's called. Um... Boat hat, whatever it is. Carlos here definitely could have used his hand as a three bet squeeze, especially against an open from the button, even if it is German moneymaker on the button. We go three ways to this flop. Oh, a C flop and open ender. Moneymaker with a gutter to a straight as well. Carlos floppy middle pair. OFC's gonna range bet, or uh, Moneymaker's range bet in. OFC gonna make the call. Uh, I think Carlos gonna probably peel as well. Has some two pair outs, trip outs. Interesting turn cards that could change the dynamic of this specific hand. Yeah, Jay did earn that pot. Diamonds on the turn. Relative brick brings in backdoor diamonds, though. No one with diamonds in their hand. Moneymaker's in a double barrel, multi-way in position. Oh, and OC with a snap call. And I think at this point, Carl's just going to have to shut it down. Not too many river cards that improve his hand. Even though he does have the actual best hand. Oh, he's going to make the call. Non-believer. Brick River Three of Spades. Moneymaker has no showdown value. He's going to have to bluff here. I expect a big sizing. Oh, just going to check back. Uh, yeah, when you multi-way, it's going to be tough to get a player to fold. I think if he actually barrels there on the thir third bullet. All right, Carlos there going to get rid of his knit button. Cuba of win losses so far. Jay, 4,400. Fireman Mike in the eight seed again, making his 5-5-10 live stream debut. Has played some of the smaller stakes in the past. Up about 3,500. Carlos there with that big hand. Multi-way. Took him from the red to the positive. Moneymaker about break even. JD down a pinch about 1,000. Bridge of Mike and OFC down respectively. Now, if you watched yesterday's 2-5 match of stack live stream, OFC was down about 6. It was up about 4K, then down 2K, then ended up about 6,500 up. So... 
even though we're a little bit more than halfway through the stream, still lots of poker left. Bridge Mike under the gun. Look for an open. Uh, straddles on. Uh, double straddles on. Oh, no. I take that back. Triple straddle. Uh, double straddles on. So double straddle is on. Bridge Mike is going to raise his straddle against Carlos. Carlos is going to fold. Bridge Mike here. Going to get rid of the knit button. Unless Carlos. Yeah, <laughs> Carlos is getting. Yeah, going to get rid of the knit button. Picks up a small pat. Pat. Pot. And 58 here for this 5-5 Matches Tech live stream. Oh, is he going to lift the cut off a of Jack-8 offsuit? Still has a knit button. Jake coming in with a 3 but Just opts to call. Bridge Mike. Wolfgang probably going to just check his option here. We're going to go four ways to this flop. But two players with a knit button. Bridge Mike with the best hand flopping top pair. Nut flush draw for Jay though. All right, four hearts brings in the second door, uh, secondary back door heart draw. No one with a four. Jay taking over the betting lead. Gonna be a fold for Sean. Gonna be fold from Wolfgang. Yep, we're gonna go heads up to this river. Relative brick now. Try to bet for value, maybe like 7,500. Yeah, good sizing here. Take it down. A lot of flush draws miss. Some weird straight draws miss. Bridge Mike taking the pot down, betting for value, 75. On that river bet. Bridge Mike. Oh. I gotta look at these VPIP percentages. I don't think I've looked at that yet today. OFC, no surprise, 39%. Yesterday was the first time I've ever seen OFC play where he did not have the highest VPIP. Jason caught in the ninth seat from last night shooting. I had him out pipped by like two or three percentage points. Everybody's like, card distribution tonight hasn't been um, all that great. Some players picking up some hands here and there, but. Oh, yeah, that, that could have very well happened. Oh, I remember that. That was the last oh, time we played. Uh, talk to me about that, Mike. So it, it can run past zero? Yeah. If they don't have it, I have to see. Like, whenever it's red, it runs at negative. When you pay, it just gets... She goes, this isn't right. Yeah, I know it's not right. Moneymaker here, plus two, going to open on a double straddle. This is definitely going to go multi-way based off these players, based off card distribution, table distribution. 600 in the pot. Actually, a really decent flop for Moneymaker. Flops open-ended. JD with the best hand. Wouldn't be surprised if Moneymaker barrels. Two-thirds pot. Yeah, it's going to be tough for anybody to call with anything. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be, yeah, I don't think JD is going to call from the straddle based off Moneymaker after raising preflop and Moneymaker getting rid of his hand. JD with the best hand pair of sixes. Gets him to fold it, though. Moneymaker getting rid of the knit button. Let's see who else has their knit button. Um, look at that. I need a chance to look at these VPIP percentages. Uh, four players, OFC, Fireman Mike, JD, Harvey Cash Show. 
OFC in danger. Uh, I would be willing to bet $100 that OFC is not going to be part of the knit game. I think it's going to come down to Fireman Mike and Harvey Castro. This is my pick. Double straddle on for 50. Game's now playing closer to 25-50. I always joke that the, the, the blinds and the stakes don't really matter that much because it doesn't really matter because the game plays bigger. So Squeeze here from Wolfgang in the big blind. Mike's going to call. JD's folding. I'm willing to bet money... OFC is not folding. He's going to call. He's trying to get rid of the net button. All right. Three players here. Problem with OC's hand is like a lot of his outs are being blocked. Wolfgang currently with the best hand. Pair of nines. Mike. OFC's not going to fold. It's in any aggression. Bet, call, call. 350? 300? 350? 350? Uh, bet's 200. Really small. Oh, 385. Okay. Third pot. Make a call. Oh, so he has a piece of that. Nah. Middle with middle pair here, though. It doesn't have a ton of backdoor equity. Uh, if he had. If one of those w w was a spade, like four spades, queen of spades. Or, I think he's definitely. <laughs> Better for him to call in that spot. This spot's going to be tough. He is in position of both players, though. Ace of Diamonds. Wolfgang was the original three better out of position pre flop. He has all the Ace X in his hands. Let's see if he's going to barrel here and try to represent over cards. Uh, something Ace X, Ace King. Could size up here go like 1200? Oh, uh, yeah. Anywhere from 900 to 1200. He does make a bet for a 50. Okay. A little bit on the small side. This is with this turn card coming, it's going to force Fireman Mike and OC to fold. I mean, even when they fold their cards, they're going to see that. Oh, they're going to see that. Uh, yeah, Wolfgang had the best hand. They're going to pick up a nice little pot there. Up about 1500 for that. Now break even or so for the stream. Yeah, I've seen. Yeah, it is Wolfgang. I've seen some people do some crazy stuff on the net game. Hand 60 of the streak. Double straddle on again. Now game over halfway through. Game's going to step up in stakes. Going to play closer to 25-50. The mandatory single straddle is on. So the 25 is going to be on at minimum. I don't know if the double's on. Uh, I don't know if the double's mandatory. So I probably should, should have told Fireman Mike that. Well, he knows that the 25 is going to be on. OFC getting the walk, gets rid of his knit button. Moneymaker, what are you doing, you weenie? All right, two players left with a knit button. Um, I think I said Fireman Mike and Castro, that's who's left. Oh, no, JD still has it, right? Yeah, three players, Fireman Mike, Castro, and JD with the knit button still left. Getting $50 bounty. Now, I don't know if they're just going to get, if the person, last person, with the net button is paying the $50 to each player. Yesterday, for yesterday's 2 5 shape, although it was only a $25 net button, they did a splash pot. So it'd be interesting to see if they're going to do a splash pot or if they're actually going to just pay it out. Bridge Mike here, cut off. Suited Broadway cards. Just going to limp. I'd like to see them open there. Now JD's folding here. Unless he wants to like do something crazy.
Great flop for British Mike. And uh, no one's going to call. It's going to fall all the way around. Unless there's someone who want, with a nit button is going to try to do something. Yeah, Bridge Mike is going to take this pot down. Flops the world. Flops Broadway draw, nut flush draw. All the equity in that hand. Yeah, those dit buttons are virtue of Mark Wee from not Mark from not Mark's game. J plus one could open this hand. Just gonna limp call. Bridge Mike, Ace Queen offsuit gonna make it a hundred. I think Jay's gonna call here. Uh, the Castro's gonna defend wide with the with the nit button on. Obviously not the best hand to defend with. He's a nice little flop. Uh -oh. Jay with the best of it. Flopping middle pair. Castro with a gutter to a straight though. Needs a bink and eight. But his eight of hearts is technically not clean. Bridge Mike with the ace of hearts blocking front door nut flush draw. I would actually, uh, yeah. Queen. Yeah, Bridge Mike's not going anywhere now. I like the check back. Now turns Showdown Valley. Doesn't have to force anything. Even with Ace Queen, if you know it wasn't a Queen. Let's see if Crashow's going to try to turn his hand into a bluff here. Uh, if he's just going to just check and ten, 10 high is never going to be good at Showdown here. But Bridge Mike was a pre flop aggressor. The King and the Queen hit his respective range much better than Harvey's. Under the gun, straddle, defending range. Hey, he's going to make a move. Little block bet. Snap call. Trying to get rid of it. I think he like does something crazy like 80%, 120% of pot. He may get it through. All right, again, for those of you in the chat tomorrow, 2 p.m. here at Poker House Dallas. Every Sunday, 2 p.m., 10K guarantee bankroll builder, next gen, 20K starting sack, $130 entry fee, 20 minute levels. All right, let's get this. The past couple of weeks, it's been just a pinch over 100. The last time the, uh, the next gen boys put together this tournament, it was over 200. So. See if we can get into the 200s again. <laughs> Going to go multi-way to this flop. Not a straddled pot. Everyone limping in this hand. The straddle, I believe. Oh, there was a raise? I'm going to call. I believe. Wolfgang, best hand. Deuces. Teeny tiny bet here. Uh, I don't think you're, yeah, you're not going to get too many folds. <laughs> you're not going to get too many folds of that. Everybody, everybody's just going to call. Still going to go five ways to the turn. Nine of spades. Gives Jade the best now. How best hand now turns top pair. Two flush draws on board. OSC, you're going to call the try to. I want to bet money he's going to river a 10. Ah, seven of hearts. Check, check here. Some weird traits get there. Some weird two pair combos. Yeah. Very thin value bet from Jay there. 
Oh, see, could have actually came in for a check raise there. That would probably make Jay vomit in his mouth. It's actually a good board for, for OC to check raise over there, especially for that thin value bet. Wolfgang here with ace 10 offsuit middle position gonna open the 75 on a 25 dollar straddle JD with a knit button fireman Mike with a knit button also want to get in the money maker good three bet good sizing alike it makes it 400 on the button it with jacks mm, let's see if JD is gonna call here JD let's see if JD or fireman Mike make the call hoping to get rid of the knit button Wolfgang looks like he wants to come in for, for the four bet squeeze. Try to ISO get this maybe heads up. Oh, uh, ends up folding. He wanted to. JD's actually going to call here. Oh, he's not going to call. Moneymaker going to pick up this pot. Open for Moneymaker with a suited king in late position. Carl's going to defend third blind with seven. He's going to go heads up. Check bet call. Oh, Carlos here. Going to donk. Going to donk lead the flop as a non pre flop aggressor. This game is way milder. Yep, I agree. Well, it also helps that you have and yesterday that I had NFG, Teak, SD, and... I don't remember who the other person that was. That was, like, really crazy yesterday. So, way smaller than yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a straight. Who's got the bigger head? Take a look at these stack sizes. OC. I don't think OC's that short. He's out. He's actually in a really. Oh, see, so just gonna rip his stack here with eights. Castro doesn't have a horrible hand here, but again, that's a lot of money to call. Ace five suited. I think if he'd feel a lot better if it was like ace ten suited. How much is it? 
Jetty wants to call really bad to try to get rid of the nip button. Yeah, he's gonna say he's gonna gamble again. If they end up running it twice, the first board is the only one that uh, that that counts for the nip button. Pull it nine. Oh, see with the double up here. <laughs> I didn't realize. I didn't see what it was. Apparently, Jay had nine, so he pulled the quads. Yeah, but you know what a flopped quads. In the window, nine. Yeah, I was like, oh, fuck, and then there's another one. All right, 50 straddles on by JD. Gonna raise from Harvey, also with an embed in Carlos with Jax. Just gonna call from the small blind. Generally, see a three bet with the Jax to a late position open, especially to a player that still has their knit button. Checks around on this flop queen high board. Ace. Gin card for Harvey. Turns two pair. Does bring in backdoor spades. Look for him to start building this pot now. Could go small. 200. 250. 325. Like sizing. Three quarter pot. Doesn't seem like it. I didn't look outside, but it doesn't seem like it. Lineups, yeah, lineups do matter. I agree. Plus E. Oh, I was actually, sorry, Kim, I was actually checking uh, Coltrane's running tracker by himself. And so I'm just checking on chip stack sizes. So making sure the I've had the correct chip stack sizes a couple times during the stream. So flying solo in the booth, I'm doing it all. Well, my, Coltrane's helping me, so. Running tracker, but I'm running the production and commentating alone. So, hand 69 in the stream, 5 5 10 match of stack this Saturday. Some folds all the way. I see Fridge Mike here just gonna make the call out of the small blind on the $50 straddle. So, the double straddles have been on for pretty much the last two orbits. So, game playing closer to 2550. Now, with that being said, stack sizes are not super deep relative to the double straddle. JD here, gonna squeeze, wants to get rid of that knit button. Yeah, uh, these guys have been kind of going at it back and forth. It's cheaper to pay the 400. I know, I was just thinking that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not a horrible yeah. flop. Range bet here from JD. He's got a gutter plus backdoor diamonds. I wouldn't be surprised if he peeled one. All right, JD. 
Yeah, the three of diamonds is not a good card there. Yep, and Mike counting out the 50 for the bounty. Alright, Mike, Fireman Mike in the eighth seat. The loser of the knit game again. We will get that started again. Uh, next dealer change. You've got German Moneymaker in the one seat. OFC in the two seat. Harvey Castro in the three seat. Jay in the four seat. Los in the five seat. Bridge Mike in the six seat. Wolfgang Poker in the seven seat. Fireman Mike again making his 5-5-10 five, five, live stream debut. Played some of the smaller stakes before in the past. Then JD a regular here as well. Playing anywhere from 5-5-10 five, five, all the way up to quarter 50. I don't even know what they're talking about. I'm just listening. JD flopping top here. Here. She works there. Uh, and they shut the store down and the whole parking lot. They told them they all they all hid inside the storage. And then they, they told them if they oh, wow. could stay or leave. So, uh, I'm just trying I'm, I'm, I'm catching up to what's going on. So they were afraid to give it two shooters, one got shot down, and one still loose. Oh there were two. There were two Fireman and Mike here are turning two pair here. Very disguised two pair. <laughs> That's four lines to a straight. I think it's going to go check, check. 300 in. Yeah, that's a really bad. I, I think if that card doesn't come on the river. Yeah. Over calls on the river there. Yes, it is Jay. Let me give you guys some points real quick. I didn't hear about that that, that outlet mall or the mall shooting. So thoughts and prayers to those people. Sick, sick world out there. 1,500 points coming your way, guys, in the chat. Got Sassy in the chat, Mark Wee in the chat. Eddie the Agent Sensation in the booth flying solo for today's stream. <laughs> Somebody has a punchable face, apparently, based off J.D. Bridge bike though, flopping open ended backdoor clubs. Carlos with top pair. He's gonna bet here for, for a little bit of protection. Little does he know that Bridge Bike's gonna come in here and make the call over bet pot? Wow, over bet's pot. Bridge Mike's going nowhere. Six or Jack. Four hearts. Does bring in the front door flush. It's going to get checked back. Bridge Mike wanted to try to realize equity. It's going to check. Carlos dodging a bullet there. Carlos going to take down that pot. Oh, snap, Mark. You live across the street. I didn't realize you lived that far up. I didn't realize you heard the gunshots. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. I didn't. I. How long ago did this happen? Was it like before the stream started? I don't know. I would, I'm literally only hearing about it now from the guys on the playing on the stream. So. 
26 million? Yeah, it's on Instagram. For real? I went from 30k followers on Instagram to 227,000. Nice. Went from 30k to 220k Instagram followers. I'm not sure what event triggered that. I have one that's getting a million views today on YouTube right now. Oh, shit. Yeah. Short? Actually, during this live stream, I'll probably press 100k on YouTube. Nice. Wolfgang here going to three bet. Suited connectors. Carl's going to probably defend here. Going to try to look to set mine. Hand could be good. Going to be coin flipping if he calls here. Oh, it was around 3.30. Okay, I think we're oh, just on the way here. Wow, that's horrible to hear. Are you lying, Sean? I don't know if you're lying or if you told the truth. <laughs> Yesterday he told the truth about everything. No, no, seven and seven male. Seven people. Seven males. Seven males. Oh, I thought he said seven million. Okay, he said seven people total. Somebody with a smart ass comment, I love it. Third blind versus straddle. Gonna check check. Oh, he's just gonna give it up. No, no, thanks for tuning in late here. Have approximately a little over an hour left in this five five match of stack live stream here. He says he's a tournament crush. He says he's going to pick up the tournament game. I actually think he's serious. Hand 75. We're going to get close to 100 hands in this stream. Fireman Mike with two to Broadway cars. Look for him to open. Moneymaker on the button. Aces. All right. It's been. Card distribution for the last hour plus has been relatively weak, so. Jay here. Going to make the call out of the third blind. Fireman Mike are getting a decent price with the suited Broadway cars, but can't like his spot. Look at this. Flops. Bottom set, very connected board though. Look for. I wonder if I wonder if Moneymaker is going to check back here. I like the check back here. It's a very good check. Oh my gosh, this is gross. Set over set. And fire, fireman Mike here. He does have a king. He's blocking king ten. Uh, Fireman Mike's gonna come in. Our Fireman uh, Mike Moneymaker's gonna come in for the raise here. Interested to see what size he's gonna go with. Seven fifty, eight hundred. Okay. Close. This is a tough spot for. Super tough spot for Jay. A set on this board. Yeah, I don't think he's not he's not raising. I think he just has to call here and evaluate a river. It's a dry super draw heavy board. I need to be a brick. That's exactly the brick I was looking for. Could go check check. I'll tell you what though, if if Jay bets here, moneymaker's never folding. There was a hand earlier that bet Jay over bet. Yeah, snap call. <laughs> yeah, it's like small sizing snap call. A little bit of a blocker, 
block slash uh, merge bet. Block slash value bet, excuse me, about third putt. I mean, if he gets raised there, he's folding. Could also try to get a little bit of thin value, though. Yeah, I knew that small sizing, that moneymaker was going to snap call there. Yeah, that was sick. That could have got a lot more ugly than that. Definitely would have made it more interesting. Moneymaker. Between last night and tonight, doing really well. Wolfgang's going to open here. <laughs> Fireman Mike. Ooh, we're getting really making some speculative calls. Yeah, I like the I like the I like the squeeze here. Doesn't need a re-raise on the button with his hand. It can just call. <laughs> He's either gonna fold or flat. He's in position. They're deep here. Good fold. I mean, as, as silly as that sounds, it's a good fold. Moneymaker doesn't have a ton of three bet bluffs, even in position. Wolfgang with a stare down, Moneymaker. Fold, fold. Moneymaker here, back to back hands. Oh, he did? Mitz. That's, Mitz is uh, Wolfgang's... Um, you're his YouTube editor, correct? If I remember correctly. I don't know. I can go ask him. I'll, I'll ask him. Money maker here. <laughs> Said he must be leaving the country soon, which is true, like two weeks. Money maker picking up the aggression here. I like this suit. Oh my gosh, firing Mike. It's like the third or fourth times. Third or fourth time he's at aces. Yeah, Moneymaker's folding now. OC's oh, so folding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he shows the aces. That's the third time he's at aces. I'll double check. Just stepped out of the booth for you, Mitz. He did know that he had 100K uh, subscribers today, so congrats to you. He said to tell you congrats. Carlos here with the Queens. Ah, it's a big. I didn't see. It's a really big squeeze. I didn't see. I, I didn't see the the action other than he made 250 with Queens preflop. So. Fifty viewers in the chat. Little light today. Got a bunch of stuff going on with Choctaw, TCH down the road. Bad weather. Baseball, playoff basketball. Thank you for tuning in. A little about an hour or so left in the stream. Gosh, I, I love these little suited gap mid-gappers. All right, Bridge Mike here. 
Ace Jack. I like Ace Jack offsuit to a late position open. I like it. Functions a lot better as a three bet squeeze. Castro here. By virtue, like, so obviously he could represent queens here. Oh, like, uh, Queen X hand. Gonna check back. Surprising check back here. Yeah, and that, this is the, the, when you check back, a, when you check back something like that, you give somebody the opportunity to catch up. Bridge Mike just turns Broadway. Now, I think Bridge Mike may appeal to one street. Castro is just gonna call here. Carlos is out. 10 or 8 on the river would be sick. Six of diamonds, super duper brick. Oh, he's going to check back. Interesting check back here by Bridge Mike. Going to allow Casho to maybe target, you know, like a hand like King X. Oh, he's going to come in for a raise. Bridge Mike with a check raise. Here it comes. I'm assuming he has the, actually has Ace Jack offsuit. And, uh, yep, yeah, he's got that look. Surprising, just gonna call here? Oh no, he's gonna get some raising chips. Yeah, okay, there you go. It's like, he's just, there's no way he's just calling here with the nuts. Casha, like, does, hates this spot. You can tell by his face. Uh, are there better two pair combos here? I think this is a fold. A hard fold, unfortunately. Even against Bridge Mike. Oh, shit. I mean, sorry. I mean, crap. Sassy with a $50. Um, Sassy here with a $50 super chat. Thanks. Karma. First time here. Ari, I'd rather be here than the live stream. You know what? I appreciate that. We're trying really hard to grow the stream, make it fun for you guys. Um. I have worked, I'm going to work through Thursday next week. That'll be 22 days in a row either running a tournament here or running the live stream. I've been running the live stream pretty much by myself without my production crew here. Eric's out of town. The guy running Tracker today, the software, the little computer at the bottom right screen, got trained in the, pa uh, trained in the past couple days. So do it for the players. Do it for the chat. Would really appreciate if you come and like, smash, and subscribe. Thank you very much, Sassy, to you and Hammer for the super chat donation yeah harpy that's so um that's so unfortunate what happened up there in allen all right let me see wolfgang is break even mitts he's down about 400. look at all these look at all these broadway cards like no one's hitting broadway it's going to be eight high board it's gonna be like eight five four. Oh, I was gonna say hearts, but eight five four. Here, money maker's gonna flop the nuts because everybody has everybody's outs. Oh, oh, season coming. Is he gonna come in with a squeeze? He's gonna come in for the squeeze here. Did he limp? Did he limp? He limp back raise, right? Yeah, I was paying attention to the chat. Sean here getting sneaky with that hand pre-flop. Thank you, Karma. Where are you from, Karma? I haven't seen you up, up in the chat before. Sassy coming through with a 49 or 39.99 chat. Either way, thank you very much. Mitz, I love 7-6, suit. I actually three bet that hand sometimes. So like lake position open, if I'm in the blinds, I'll three bet that sometimes. Just for board coverage, and I mean, I'm not doing it to an early position open, but I'm probably doing it more. Oh my gosh! Oh, see, what a sicko! This guy's running like, like Jesus. He limps again. He's gonna limp back raise probably two times in a row. This these Texas poker players, sneaky, sneaky. Uh, let's 
see if Wolfgang's going to squeeze on the button. And he's going to squeeze. Going to get the bad news here in just a bit when OFC's going to lip back raise. Yeah, he's going to double check his car. He's probably going to make it big. Three, uh, 400? 400 to 500. I think he's going to go really big here. All right, Karma. Er, Karma, you should ever come down to that. I like it. I like that size. He literally just blipped back race twice in a row. Yeah, he's going to get the fold. OC gets sneaky with his hands. I'll, I'll say this. Sean, who is OC, uh, we've talked about it, so I'm not saying anything he doesn't know. Not the most fundamentally sound player. He admits that, right? But his feel for the game is like one of the best I've seen on live streams, either commentating or just playing on our live stream. Just has a really good feel for the game, good feel for the table. 10-9 suited because it makes straight. So, yep, I like it too. Sometimes the the, amidst the reason that I like uh, like the six seven suited, right? Because like you know even ten nine suited, it makes the straights. I agree. Like seven six suited, like if you know if you're three betting it or raising it, if you have high cards, then you know obviously you hit. Uh, you can rep represent those over over cards on the board. But if you get you know flop a seven seven, you know like no one's ever going to put you on a seven when you three bet or, or raise. So look at all these hands. Moneymaker's going to come in with a squeeze. Moneymaker, Bridge Mike. Just going to make the call, Bridge Mike. I like it. Wolfgang's going to... Okay, Wolfgang getting the the right price to set in mind. Fireman, like, if he's suited here, he's calling. But this is, this is a tough call based off, off action. He doesn't care. <laughs> he doesn't care. He's going to make the call four ways. Feels like he's getting good price there. I'm um, picking Wolfgang. Oh, okay. Bridge and Mike here. Not a terrible flop. Uh, Moneymaker's going to check here. He knows his board's not good for his three betting rage. But Bridge Mike is going to check here. Wolfgang's going to check. Fireman Mike. He could take a stab here. Yeah, not. He's one of the. What a good turn card for, for Moneymaker. Fireman Mike does actually have the best hand. I wonder if he's going to bet here, if he's going to try to check call. He is going to bet. Uh, 800? What a big bet. Half pot. And this is the danger of playing hands like King Queen offsuit. He's unblocking. He's so he's blocking straights with the queen. He's unblocking clubs. Carmen, you ever make it down to Texas to play? Because the action is stupid. S T O O O O O P I D. Interesting to see what Wolfgang's thought process is here, especially with a player behind. Heads up. He, okay. Non believer. Okay. He, he, he grabbed the chips to call, and then he ends up folding. And this is a tough spot for Fireman Mike. He was in for 3K. He was up big early on in the stream. He won that big hand aces against uh, Bridge Mike. Was up maybe 4K, 5K. Now he's a little up stuck. Up now about 1900. He's going to make the call here. Money card. Size up here on this on this river. I think he's gonna go for. He's gonna. Oh yeah, it's gonna. He's gonna rip it for. Fireman Mike's SPR is 0.75. Uh, three, 3300. Okay. 0.65. St stacked apart ratio for Fireman Mike's 0.65. It's a rip. What a great run out. All right, money makers taking us to dinner tonight.
What a river card. Karma says he would love to. He's so broke he can barely afford to pay attention. I like that. Yeah. And that's the thing. This is the, this is such a, a tough run out. Moneymaker's not going to have a ton of 10s in his rage, you know, based off his 3-bet preflop. He has a lot of the ace-kings. Yeah. Yeah, tough for Fireman Mike here. Let's see if he's going to reload. Oh, my gosh. That would have been really bad. I just, I just saw that harpy that, yeah, that he would have reversed set, and I think he would have got stacked. Moneymaker, let's take a look at these new stats. We have our first player, five digits. Moneymaker, $14,000 in his stack. Carlos, 8700 himself. Let's take a look at these cumulative win losses. Moneymaker up top, 9300 Next biggest player with the biggest uh, cumulative win, Asian J. Yes, I can call him that, just for the record. 2500 Carlos about 1400 All the other players kind of balancing the rest of the losses. No one with more than a 3K loss. Now, with that being said, uh, Fireman Mike, because the software is assuming that he's not buying back it, it's not going to show his 3K loss, but he is down about 3K. So both him and JD down about 3K. Uh, Fireman Mike, I'm not sure what he's going to reload for here, but we'll find out shortly. And then I held it in my hand, I'm like, oh, no. And then, of course, the poor comes. All right, let's get these up. Yeah. Wolfgang would again. Oh, the board was paired. Oh, snap. My bad, guys. He's going to hate life. I'm sorry, guys. I, I didn't really. I, I, you're right. Because that's right. Ten's on the flop. Ten, ten, nine. King of clubs. Right. Ten, ten, nine. King of clubs and the four of clubs. So, right. He would have river forced full. And moneymaker would have been sent back to Germany with no money. Just. <laughs> Funny Baker and I are really good friends, so I like I I make I make fun of him on the stream. They're gonna try to get the nit game in one more time on this dealer change. I think they should bump up the stakes. I hate it when I hate it when OFC like slams the cards in. He's the reason why I have to buy new cards. Uh, who has the most equity? Jay does. Right? Uh, Castro here. Boats. Three's full of sevens. Yeah. Now, I know some of you guys are new to the chat. Against Moneymaker, that's a good full. I think if it's OFC, if it gets JD, maybe even Asian J. I wouldn't have hated a call there. I even had a I had a free roll. Did you know that you hit 100k subscribers today? Uh, yeah. Okay, he wanted me to ask. I was like, oh, I knew it would happen at some point. He's my, that's my editor. Your editor, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me. Yeah, tell him, tell him, congrats. That's you, Mitz. He's talking about you. He did it. Congratulations. No, for, for real, like, in all seriousness, congratulations to you, Mitz, and to Wolfgang, Alex. Uh, for hitting a hundred thousand subscribers, that's a hell of a milestone. He just bought were you born in England, Carlos. <laughs> Carlos could never ever be in charge of a human resources department. Let's say that right now. All right, that was a fifty dollar flip that Harvey Casher won. Helped him out a little bit. Down quite a pinch. Again, have some new viewers in the chat. The yellow button by the player's name means they are currently still in the knit game. You don't have aces again, right? <laughs> <laughs> Byron and Mike's had aces three or four times a day. It's been nuts. And yet, somehow, he, now he's down 3K. It's a good flop for Byron and Mike. I guess I'm actually checking back here. Okay, 75, small bet, yeah. It's like the, the, the big ones. So I don't like sitting for that long. So 
I'm gonna sit that long, it better be worth it, you know. Of course, it's fun. Talk about bathrooms? Ba what? Sizing up, trying to target a king. Two thirds pot. Yeah, Fireman Mike's gonna reload for about 12k, or 12k, 1200, sorry. Bridge Mike here, Ace Nine suited. Wolfgang here, look at these cards. It's a good thing when I, when I, when I set these things up, I said this thing. It, these streams are not for kids. Because that would get demonetized. Bridge Mike here. Yeah, it's going to probably make the call. Well, all three players with definitely decent hands. Wolfgang with pocket tens. Suited connectors. Suited Broadway connectors for Fireman Mike. Kind of a brick for everybody else. Wolfgang was still the best hand with just a pair of tens. He's going to check through on this flop. King of... Now, Wolfgang's got to feel better about his spot here, yeah, and I don't think I don't think Wolfgang's going to fold here. With two kings coming out there and no one betting preflop, it's going to reduce. It's going to be tougher for a, a player to have ki a king in their hand. Let's see if Bridge Mike's going to barrel. He's got two pair though. Yeah, Wolfgang with a better two pair. Kings and sixes with the ace kicker for Bridge Mike. Wolfgang with kings and sixes. Bet for thin value here. 200, 300. I'm going to try to target exactly what Bridge Mike has. What a little block bet. $100 in the 900. <laughs> and he, he did it. Super thin value bet there on the river by Wolfgang. Going to get Wolfgang, uh, going to get Bridge Mike to call. Yes! With the strawberry milk, let's go! <laughs> now, no one knows about this story. This is the greatest story. I want strawberry milk. What's that? Shit, I want strawberry milk. What's that? Oh, yeah. That's funny. All right. It's not a horrible hand. You can defend here. Charlie Milk's the bomb. He used to make this with Nesquik. I think Moneymaker. Who's I, I'm not sure who the pre-flop aggressor was. I stepped out of the room. Fold, fold. JD getting rid of the nip button. Uh, 
Thanks, Mitz. We're trying our we're trying our best. We're gonna try to move. We're gonna be moving some stuff. Around. When I say moving some stuff around, we're gonna move some days around, some times around. Eric, the Lashy Manager, not here. Got some ideas moving, about moving days and times for some of our specific shit. Uh, specific streams. <laughs> Sometimes it's frustrating because I think we're an underrated stream because you know, like the, just the stakes are not as big what you see at Hustler and Live at the Bike and even the Lodge. But the action and just the table banter, of these guys, it's actually real, like underrated. So appreciate all you guys here in the chat. OFC here. I don't hate this op this open from late position after it folds to him. I'm not sure. It's a big squeeze. Big raise. Carlos here. Carlos ain't folding. We talked about this at lunch today. He doesn't like folding to, to OFC pre-flop. Pseudo wheel ace out of position is not horrible. Just do it, Carlos. <laughs> Just do it. I know you're not going to fold. It's, it's OFC. We talked about this at lunch today. Row, row. Okay, so make the call. I thought he was going to grab more purples. With the Robbie. Ruh row. Both players flopping. Looks like Wolfgang's getting the camera out for the vlog. Probably going to post something post stream. Check races flop actually. Oh, so he's not gonna have a ton of um, diamonds in his range. Carlos has more of the diamonds. <laughs> Tank call, yep. Yeah, I think OC knows when he calls there. He's got an ace. Yeah, OC's got showdown value. Doesn't need to turn, you know. Has enough showdown value where King can be good there. I'm pretty sure Carlos is going to watch this tomorrow and text me. be like, you're right. I only called the pre-flop because it was OFC. About ooh, half an hour or so left in the stream, give or take. Moneymaker here, hammer lock so far on this stream. And the $50 bounty is on for the knit game. One moneymaker is going to squeeze from the straddle. Going to get rid of the oh, just kidding. I was going to say JD's going to fold. Over calling the raise there. What a flop for JT. 
flush draw, walking straights with the eight. Good check back by Moneymaker there. Much better board for JD. Queen, he could rep, rep the queen though. Moneymaker can't. Big bet. And yeah, Moneymaker's gonna fold. Yep. Fold's the best hand. We've talked to, I've talked to Moneymaker about strategy about the knit game. Sometimes it's better just to play the 400. Than it is to, um, than it is to actually um, do something silly. And we're in hand, close to hand ninety. Go multi way to this flop. Four players, it looks like. Fireman Mike. Good spot for him. Kind of a wet board, though. Diamonds, straight draws. He is blocking 10 9. He is blocking 10 9 diamonds, yeah. Unfortunate there that he's not going to get a ton of value with that hand. That's flopping trips. Trying to target a queen specifically. No takers. Mike on the button, 7-4 suited, JD here, coming through, bet, just call. This hand can be mixed in. Yep, yeah, going to come in with the 3-bet squeeze. Yeah, Mike's going to fold. I'm not sure if he already got rid of his nip, the nip button, I didn't see it on that hand. here you try to make a move obviously he's not folding an ace ever in the straddle after f and because he still has a knit button too 
charge starts. And we battle it out. Fireman Mike here, open ended. See, Fireman Mike's going to continue to barrel. He's just going to check. We'll see. I know his hand is good here. He does have the ace of spades blocking that flush draws. Front door flush draws. Four spades. Doesn't, doesn't really check. It doesn't really change too much on this board texture. On this hand, we are on uh, hand 90 something, give or take. So we'll get that assault squared away. So Stacy, I'm tired. And I drank during the day. Through on this flop, front door diamonds comes in. And Haru Kasha actually has to keep his knit button because he accidentally mucked his hand. Yeah, it's, oh, that was the joke. yeah, he didn't get it. He didn't get it until I walked out there. Hey, uh, yeah. <laughs> Wolfgang here, Ace King offsuit, big slick, make it two and a quarter. Fireman Mike trying to make something happen here. Down. About 3600. <laughs> JD here flopping middle set. Bridge gonna call with the gutter. Full full. See if interested to see if JD's gonna come in for the race here. Just gonna call in position. It is a very it's a it's a dry board. 
Ace of Clubs. <laughs> now nah, I should be coming in for the raise here. Let's start building this pot. I was going to cover the raise. See how Jay can call here. Bridge Mike's gonna fold. JD can pick up a nice little pot now. Him and Moneymaker over the 5k mark. Three bet. Try to ISO. Pretty much gonna commit. Yeah, it's gonna be in a tough spot. Fireman Mike, really gonna get nine straight cards. It's not a, it's not a bad flop. No help on that first board. Yeah, he's drawn dead. Fireman Mike here gonna be go felt. Finish this stream eight handed after Fireman Mike goes felt in that spot. I'm so glad I'm not the first 
know guy. I know Jason. You taught me that lesson the hard way. You lied to me about a hand one time. And I just oh, I thought you had it. Yeah, I thought you had it for like a week. And like what happened is like we were looking for something else and I like screwed through it. I learned that from that guy. I didn't know yet. I just thought we were being honest. <laughs> JD. Tricked, Now we're going to get caught up on action here. JD's going to make the fold. Garcho still with the knit button along with Jay. Bridge Mike as well. All spade board. Carlos with the only spade in his hand. Still the best hit with pocket fives, actually. Gets there. Oh, it's going to be tough for him to get any value. Just going to check, check, check all the way around. Pick up a tiny, small pot there for Mr. Carlos Cortez. Yeah, Doug. Uh, he overcalled Moneymaker... 20 minutes ago, give or take. Um, Moneymaker, three bit out of position, had three callers. Uh, Fireman Mike called on, on the button when King Queen offsuit. Flop was 10, 10, 9. One club, Moneymaker checks flop. Turn was the king of clubs. Giving Fireman Mike top pair, and then River was out with another club, and he rivered the nut flush on a paired board, and put Fireman Mike all in, and he just reloaded for like twelve hundred, and just ended up felting with the remaining twelve hundred. So these games can swing, though, Doug. You know that. You've seen some. You've seen some our streams. Moneymaker getting rid of his button there. Grace from Castro. And the cutoff ace 10 offsuit. Yeah, let's see. Wolfgang should be defending this third blind here to a late position open. JD could actually squeeze here. Just going to make the call. Okay. Moneymaker going to call. The 6 2 of diamonds. Getting a good price. 700 to win like 600. Does flop bottom pair. Jay with the... Oh, JD with the best hand, actually. I'm sorry. He's going to go check around flop. Jay could bet here with the jack. See if he's going to try to deny some back. Okay, he's going to just check. King of clubs. Ah, uh, JD's going to bet here now. Front door flush does get there, though. He does have the jack of clubs. Don't want to miss out on value because Jay's going to be checking back a lot of times this river. So, 
Could go for a small size here. Target a jack specifically. And queen 10 does get there, but that's played. Jay's blocking queen 10, so yeah, I like it. Third. Don't blame Jay for making the call in this spot. Just trying to figure out what he's beating. Front door flush does get there. He's meeting, bu meeting, bu beating busted straight draws. But again, he's got a queen in his hand, so he's probably now there's only like 12 combos of queen 10 here. The Zeusin's all like. Set some weird two pair combos like eight nine suit eight nine suited jack nine suited. If Jay's gonna make the fold. I like the fold there. Yeah, some weird two pair combos get there. So he's going to limp here, plus one with 25. Jay still with the button when Suda Connectors opts to, get rid, uh, opts to get rid of his hand. Yeah, Moneymaker is going to check his option. OC really happy that he's going to get to see a flop after limping it in EP. Not a good flop for anybody. OC with the best hand. Still a side 10 kicker. Cut shot for Carlos. Turns pair of sixes though. Oh, so if Carlos if gets if he gets a show, then we'll win this hand. Carlos having a good. So funny. Carlos crushed 5-10 quarter Wednesday at TCH. Crushed 10-25 uh, with 25 big blind Annie Thursday here. Got obliterated in 2-5. Match the stack last night and up 2,500 for tonight. So doing pretty well so far. And those viewers in the chat, if you haven't yet checked out one of our players' restaurants, Selda Mediterranean, Habib, we checked it out today. Some of the greatest Mediterranean food in the area. Habib was telling us yesterday was his first day back open uh, in three months, two and a half, three months. 250 people last night. Tonight he's got at least like, what do you say, 80, 100 or something like that. There's a RSVP for tonight, so congratulations to him. Good luck and on your reopening. Bridge Mike here in the cutoff. King Queen suited. I can see JD calling out of the small one. I was just gonna fold. Kasha gonna make the call here out of the straddle. Both players still with their knit button. Don't want to play that $50 bounty. 
<laughs> wow, what a flop here. Castro flop from top pair, bridge mic top pair with a redraw to the second nut flush though. Second nut flush draw, excuse me. Castro's not getting rid of his hand just yet. Did he overbet pot? He, over, he, do, he does overbet pot. Gets there on the turn. Oh, what a, what a hand. Look at this. Bridge Mike turns the second nut flush. Castro turns two pair. And Harvey with no hearts in his hand himself. Yeah, he's trying to see what sizing it. Because it's going to be pretty much an all-in on the river. Uh, I don't see how you can fold here, Castro. It's just a tough spot to be in. Yeah, he's going to go on snap call by Bridge Mike. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, card, that river is not going to help. Yeah, bridge Mike here. Tough spot, Castro. Let's see if he's going to reload or put a little bit of money on there. Nice hand by Bridge and Mike. What's funny was he was down a significant amount of money. And now with that hand there, just pretty much broke even. hands on the stream ladies and gentlemen JD here with a suited ace on the button double straddles on gonna make it buck 50 Carlos is going to defend the straddle with 8 7. JD flopping nut flush draw. Tobacco. No, no. Really? 
if you want it. Is that an option? You need to make sure there are options. You have to bring your own. Just ask my own beat. Bring your own beat. All right, Moneymaker this hand, also with a suit at A7. Three bet here incoming. Moneymaker here again, staying aggressive this stream. <laughs> Moneymaker getting good price to defend the straddle with pocket fives. Let's call for the jack. Bricks it. Uh, no one has a jack, though. Wolfgang here currently with the best hand with just a pair of fives. Jay with overcards. Moneymaker backdoor. Equity with his hand. I like this bet from Wolfgang after that flop checking around. Plus, he's double blocking straights. Moneymaker going to float. We need a five. Unfortunately, the uh, Wolfgang does have two fives in his hand, so he's double blocking that as well. Jay here is gonna try to figure out what he's repping here in this hand. It's a really, really interesting line. Get just a few more minutes left in the stream. Snaps. What is going on? I'm talking about another shooting somewhere else in Dallas. It's not good. Goodness gracious, what is this world coming to, guys? Just a few more hands. Carlos here, going to defend the big blind. What a, look at this flop. Flops. Flops the flush. It's kind of a brick right there. Let's see if Carlos can start building the pot now. Good bet small, 200. That's a really big bet, especially after the check turn. Could have sized down a little bit. We've gone like 200, 250, 300. Yeah. 
Again, uh, I think we have about one, two, three, five, four, five more hands left in this stream. Again, thanks for tuning in, staying with us for this 5 5 10 match the stack live stream here at Poker House Dallas. Poker House Live. Got BJ going to be closing us up in the box. Mike Coltrane uh, and Katie helping on Ashton Tracker today. Eddie the Agent Sensation in the booth flying solo. Money maker here after the $25 single straddle. Going to make it 75. Ace Queen. Car Castro here. King is going to three bet. Uh, Carlos is going to be tough. I like the fold there. See what Moneymaker decides to do here. If he's going to call, definitely could be calling here. Oh, that's actually a really bad card for Moneymaker. Check, bet, call. Two hundred. Five. Okay, I like a half pot. And I think Casho is specifically putting on Ace Queen here. Seven of Diamonds, based off pre-flop action. You know, this five six seven. It is a rainbow board. This five six seven is really not going to be in Moneymaker's. Um, Raising range, although it could be. Interesting, he's gonna, Moneymaker's gonna leap turn. I could have some eight nines, some sets. Uh, I'll have to talk to him about this hand. His thought process leading turn. I'm really interested to, to, to think about his thought process on this hand. Yeah, just going to make the call. He's in position. Rainbow board. Oh, gin card. Now that's a card that's going to save Moneymaker some money. Something like that. I usually announce when there's five hands left, but Coltrane doesn't know. Small bet here. Forty percent. Yeah, I like that size. Good fold. Honey maker knows better. Yeah. 
Jay here in the cutoff, going to make it 75. Moneymaker going to defend the straddle. And 105, going to get over 100 hands. Very excited about that. I like the check here. Good card for Moneymaker. Let's see if Jay's going to try to represent this king. If he's just going to check back. Both check. Ace, that's going to go check, check now. Two hands, three hands left in the stream. Yeah, I got another few hands left here. Carlos here, yeah, gonna just take down this pot pretty easily with Ace King offsuit. It's a bot. Jay here going to make it plus one position. Queen nine suited. Bridge Mike going to call in the cutoff. See if Wolf Game is going to make the call here. Maybe, maybe not now. We go heads up. I think this is the last hand. This hand or the next hand is going to be the last hand, so. A side board. And ladies and gentlemen, I believe, I think that's the last hand, ladies and gentlemen. Again, thank you very much for uh, sticking around with us. Take a look at these final chip stack counts. JD, 13K. Moneymaker, 12K. Carlos, right at 10K. It says five in my cast 50. It's incorrect. I think they sat him out, so he was actually felted. So no problem there. Uh, those are the stack sizes as they roll on down. V pit percentages. Fireman Mike for getting filtered. 43% OFC. 32% low V pit for Sean here. In a tough spot being in between Moneymaker and Castro. Castro all the way down with 18%. Pre-flop raise percentage. Why are you making Wolfgang? 23%. Only players above 20%. Q 
cumulative win and losses, the most important stat for the night. Money maker, back-to-back -back nights where he's up, I think last night, 8, 9K. Today, about 7,500. Carlos, 26, 2,700. Jay, JD at 1,800, 1,700, respectively. Bridge Mike dodged a bullet. He hit one big hand there towards the end. Wolfgang, 1,200 down. Sean down about 2,800. You know, still had a win from yesterday. Did okay. Fireman Mike yeah, down about 4,300 after Felting. And Harvey Casher down about 4,500. So thanks for tuning in. I believe tomorrow, I'm not sure if the Next Gen Boys are doing a cash live stream tomorrow. I'll double check that with them. Uh, if not, again, tomorrow, the Next Gen Tournament, 2 p.m., 20K starting stack, $130 entry free, 20 minute look. 10k guarantee so join us tomorrow here in the room try to get you some of this 10k guarantee look forward to seeing you guys hope everyone has a good day good evening